Hi there, here in Photoshop Elements 10, and if you uh, used Photoshop before, you'll be used to some of these uh, menus and tools here. What I want to do today with you is to create a uh, blank template which we can use for greetings cards. Now there are uh, greetings cards in the Create menu here. I just want to produce something really simple which you can use over and over again. And uh, we're going to do it by going to File, Looking at New, and opening a blank file. You can use the shortcut Control N, but you can always use the menu driven system, which is just go to new blank file. This will bring up this dialog box. Uh, we can rename uh, this because it's new, and we're going to call it uh, card template. So just type in the box there, and that's given us a name. Uh, we're working on international paper, uh, which is an A4 size, uh, and uh, you can also go to US paper, uh, which is going to give you a letter size, or use the drop down menu to use any size of paper you want. Uh, because I'm in the UK, I'm going to have the international paper size, and that's going to give me 210 by 297 millimeters. Uh, the color space is RGB. There's no Pro Photo or CMYK on this, and we're going to leave the background white. Uh, a reasonable file size. I'm just going to click OK, and that'll bring up a blank background for me. You can see there it says it's the background. Uh, this is a blank piece of paper, basically, which, which I'm going to create this card template on. There's the eye icon by the side, which indicates our layer visibility. We can see there that the layer itself is locked. And what we want to do is to create a card template. And to do that, we're going to go to the View menu, go to the bottom, and just click on New Guide. Because we want a guide to help us place the images and the type in this uh, template and I want a horizontal line so drawing across there a horizontal line halfway across this image so I'm going to click on the horizontal radio button and I know from <laughs> full well that halfway down the sheet of A4 paper is 14.85 centimeters and if I click OK on that that will put a guide across now don't worry about this this is just a guide it won't show up when you're printing or anything and it really doesn't show up on the background layer there either we've done nothing we've just put a guide on there to help us place things in this uh, template so I'm going to lock that so let's look at that again go to view lock guides you see that's little tick by the side there which is showing that we've locked that guide in place now and we can carry on and start working on this card template you could always save this now as card template and keep opening it and uh, putting different images on it I'm just going to work through on this one and add some type to it straight away so remember this will be the back of your card this bottom part here uh, you can see there as soon as I've clicked on with the type uh, it's brought up a new adjustment layer over the top there and I'm just going to type in <laughs> cards by dad so that's cards by dad you could type anything you want uh, your company name uh, or from mum and dad or from me to dad or from me to mum or whatever uh, you can see there cards that if I double click uh, the layer icon there it just now shows that I've got cards by dad in my type if I double click on the T that will highlight that which means I can go in and change the typeface so you can change the typeface there you can change the uh, style of the font to smooth or regular and you can change the font size. Uh, when it's highlighted, you can always move it around as well. Uh, if the highlight goes off, go to your Move tool, which is uh, V as a shortcut, and then you can just mouse down and reposition your typing where you want. And uh, we switch off the eye icon, that makes it disappear, and put the eye icon back in the layer, and that will show us again. Let's go Control minus minus, or Command minus minus if you're on a Mac, and that will get it down to size again. Don't forget, V will get you the Move tool, and it'll enable you to move that type and position it. So there we have the back of the card created uh, on our template. And the one thing to do now is to rotate this. So we want to put a picture on the top there. So I'm going to go to Image, Rotate, and 180. And that'll just flip the card around. So the type's there on the back of the card. We're going to place an image, open an image file, and place it there. Now we could go to Open. But in this, uh, I want to place an image inside this background layer. Uh, so what I have to do is make sure I've got my background highlighted. I'm going to go to File, Place, and this uh, Place dialog box will come up. I really want to go to the desktop because I've got some files open there, ready with some images in them. And I'll go into my Photo Deck file, just double click it, and I've got the first file that's there, and the first image in the file, and the Place button, just click on that, like so. And this will place an image. You can see the image has got some lines going across it and some handles in the corner. It's placed inside that background layer. If you look at the background layer on your right-hand side, you see it's actually placed it on the background. Uh, I'm going to mouse down in an open space, and this will move it. But you can see it doesn't fit. 
Um, so one thing we've got to do is to make it bigger. So you must make sure the top top line up here that you have constrained proportions clicked. So constrained proportions on the top there clicked. So you can just mouse down on the corner there and just drag it out. And that's just drag it out proportionally. Uh, mouse down again inside the image and but reposition it. And if you're happy with that, double click inside, and that'll uh, position and uh, your image now will be ready for either flattening, saving, or printing. If you're happy with the print, if you're happy with the image, everything's looking good. Uh, we can carry on now and we can flatten this down. Uh, so flatten the image down. Now you can save that now, or we can go straight into printing. You see there, it looks like a card. The blue line is where the fold is going to be in the card. Um, we can go into print. You can use the shortcut, Control P, Command P. This will bring up the uh, elements dialog box for your printer. And you can see here it's showing you what the card's going to look like. It's going to tell you which printer you want to choose. I'm using my V6700 for this one. Um, we can change all the things in here, like the paper you're going to use. So you can go to glossy paper. Let's have glossy paper in that one. I use my sheet feeder in my printer, not the cassette. So yeah, use the auto sheet feeder. My paper size is A4. My print quality setting, you might want to change this. Um, this will bring up your actual printer dialog box. I want to go into high quality printing on this. Just click on high on that. And the one thing, most important thing with these is to make sure that you have your borderless printing checked on. Uh, we, we don't want any white edge around the edge of this card. We want it to be printed right up to the edge. So you must have your borderless printing checked. So we're doing an individual print. We're doing the actual size. Remember, we're going to do the actual size of the print. Uh, we're not going to crop to fit at all. So just make sure we, we've created this as an A4 template and then you're going to print it actual size. I'm going to do one copy. One thing I do suggest you do is to print off on a cheap quality paper first of all. Before you press print, just put some cheap photocopy paper, whatever printing paper in, just to check it to make sure everything's all right. Run a, a, a one off and then put in your nice paper and print a nice card. Now we can save this one. Uh, I suggest you do save as with this, as we can rename this. You don't want to uh, be uh, saving it over files you already got uh, in your uh, filing system. We could call this one card template. Um, I really don't want to call this one card template because I might have saved that out as a template somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to call this one Manchester card. You can call it what you want. Uh, somewhere, save it somewhere that you can remember where it is in a name uh, that you know you're going to remember. Um, now, between 10 and 12 uh, uh, quality, uh, if it's too low, you might find when you open it again that the quality of the image is quite poor. So between 10 and 12 will give you a decent sized JPEG. Uh, baseline standard, click OK. And that's all saved up. And that's saved now in your uh, uh, folder for use again. If you want to print some more cards, you can just open up and uh, print cards again from this as many times as you want. So that's really setting up using a new blank file so control n or just go to new blank file we've got an a4 size piece of paper out uh, we set a guide up using the view uh, new guides uh, we've printed by pressing control p we've changed our printer settings uh, changed the paper made sure the most important thing that we've gone to borderless printing now borderless printing will be in your printing dialog box somewhere um, it might say full bleed i'm not sure uh, what other printing company uh, printer companies do uh, and we've printed off a card and uh, it was as easy as that. Once you set a card template up, you can save the card template separately and then just add images to it when you want to. Okay, that's been me for now. Uh, until the next time, that's bye for now.